So welcome, welcome back. Today I have more mechanism planned. I know I grab, I, I jumped into a mod mechanism and really get lost in this mod. <laughs> I really do. It's like, oh, I love automation. I love, I love getting into this stuff. And it's actually kind of nice. We can automate today. And uh, well, to jump start, you might see I have a little bit of something planned. If you may not, you may not know what this is, but I plan on having at all times, hopefully that's the goal, uh, one of each of the circuits, um, because I notice I am needing a lot of stuff for mechanism. Um, all of this stuff in here, I need each one of these. So I need to go from infused alloy to reinforced alloy and to atomic alloy. And all of that is also needed for the control circuits. And a lot of stuff in here that is anywhere near advanced is going to require this. So I'd like to have some on hand and we might make use of some downgrade upgrades for these. Um, but I'm coming up with a solution. So, uh, getting started, this right here, infused alloy, is going to go into this. Um, over here, I'm going to have all of these piped in with the items that it needs. So up here, um, I'm going to have importers, uh, wait, exporters from uh, refined storage. They're going to be on top of each one of these, including the crushers, right? And so my goal, my goal, I know I'm getting kind of advanced right off the starts. <laughs> my goal is to have this produce each type all on its own in this row. Um, and it may there may be a more compact way of doing this, and I know I could probably set it all up with refined storage if I really wanted to, but I want to try and play around with drawers and uh, having these accessible here. And this also gives it a buffer, so it's not constantly running. Um, so I, I need to make room for the back. I need a power to access the back. The top is going to be taken up, and so all that gives me is the sides and access to the drawers, so I have it through the bottom. So what I have planned is uh, to take this and upgrade it to its next tier, which is reinforced alloy, but this needs diamond dust. So I'm gonna need to put diamonds in here to get crushed into the crusher, and that is going to send diamonds into this and actually send diamond dust over here because for this, I actually need to make refined obsidian as well. And if you remember the refined obsidian recipe, well, to make that, it's gonna take diamond as well as crushed obsidian. So to get crushed obsidian, that's going to go in this machine and send into here, which should produce refined obsidian. Then the refined obsidian needs to be sent into the metallurgic infuser over here, along with the diamond alloy that we're going to have. So both of these are going to need to be piped up. And that means this right here needs to be all connected. And what's going to happen is I think I'm just going to send it to the side here and have it connect. Um, now, a neat little trick is you can use your configurator right here to set items. And you notice this is not showing anything. Well, you can actually shift right click and now it's set as an input. So you can control the outsides of these machines, uh, which is really handy. In theory, once we get the refined stuff on the top, this should all work. And I might actually encase this in something to make it look a little nicer. Unfortunately, we don't have cable facades. But yeah, what a start to the video. I promise, I promise we are going to get into a vault today. I'm probably going to run two or three vaults definitely by the end of this video. This was just something I wanted to get done right from the start. So now for the fun, this is uh, this is how this is going to work. So I do have all of the configs set up on this for uh, for the auto eject. I just I need to make sure everything's set to auto eject on because probably not everything's set to that. Um, but yeah, this should work. I don't know exactly how it's going to do the round robin stuff. If it does that, hopefully it will do that. If not, we'll have to wait. But, oh, I turned that off. But I uh, I am going to be able to use this for the first time. This is a storage downgrade. So it takes refined storage and it knocks it down. Um, now, actually, I don't know if I want it. Yeah, I do want it in here. I want to keep a stack in here and in here as well. And it'll keep a stack in the machine as well. Um, so we'll end up with two stacks, hopefully, of everything, if all works out to plan. It is going to use a lot of diamonds to do this. Um, so, first of all, let's get uh, diamond in here, and we'll put a diamond in here. This should automatically export diamonds, because this needs to be processing diamonds. Um, over here is going to be processing obsidian. So let's send this obsidian. Now, for the thing that's going to be a little bit more advanced, is this, uh, is this sending obsidian into a crusher? Oh, wait, is it an enrichment chamber that it needs? I think it's an enrichment chamber, actually. Easy change, easy change. Uh, we'll do enrichment chamber. That is perfectly fine. 
There we go. Now it's going to be working. Make sure this is configured. We'll say auto output this and we need to output on that side. So that's all this needs. Very simple. That's going to go and dump right into this. It looks like this is definitely working and that's going to send down. Now, uh, for our base processes over here, um, of course, we need to know what goes in here and what goes in the front. In the front is redstone for both. So we'll have redstone going in here and redstone should go in here. Now on the top, uh oh, we're out of energy. On the top is going to be on this one, osmium ingots. And then what's going to go over here is iron. So we'll take our iron ingots and bam. And this should, in theory, be automated. You can see over here, it's sending the items required. Once it has enough, uh, once it gets some diamonds. So really in theory, once this finishes and makes enough uh, obsidian, then over time, this is going to produce all of the materials we need, which is perfect. Um, if I can catch one, I want to be able to lock this chest. If I can grab one out of here quick enough, probably not. There we go. I can go ahead and lock this. And now we can visualize everything. And this is it. This all leads to making this, and we should end up overall with this, with two stacks each of all of these. I know you guys are yelling at me saying, Chosen, upgrade your machines. You can totally upgrade your machines, making it faster and doing all kinds of stuff. I do want to at least upgrade it to the next tier up. Um, so the good thing is that's actually pretty easy to do. Um, looks like we just need some iron. I'll go ahead and throw out some iron here. And yeah, just upgrading it to a factory is one of the best things you can you can do early on. Um, now, when doing this, unfortunately, it does reset all of your configs that you had. <laughs> so uh, you're kind of like, it, it's kind of like, ah, oh, man, why did this happen? Um, but yeah, this is kind of an issue that you're going to have to deal with. Uh, let's see, that needs to go there. Um, unfortunately, the upgrade cards for, for mechanism, for some reason, are disabled. You can't craft them. So this would allow you to keep your settings normally, but because they're disabled, you can't craft them. Normally, you just right click them on there and it would change the machine. Maybe there's some bugs or something. Uh, but yeah, I have to go back through and unfortunately reset all of the configs. I am going to leave it at this tier. I think this tier is more than enough. Uh, it does three at a time and you can allow auto sort on to kind of spread and fan these out, which is definitely going to be worth it. I know later on, uh, you. I know I was getting some questions. Am I going to try uh, five times or processing? Uh, potentially. That's definitely on my list of to-dos. I would actually love to do that. That way uh, we can maximize all of the ore that we're getting and making this even better. Um, but yeah, that's definitely on my list. I'm going to go through here and upgrade all of these, including the crusher, to factories. And we should be ready to go ahead and run some vaults. Minus one thing, actually. Almost forgot. Remember how I said the chunk loading was an issue i think i found a solution with mechanism it, it just you have to wait and see so that thing i was talking about is called the quantum entangle porter the thing that can chunk load or has the potential to chunk load um it's called an entangle or a quantum entangle porter which is a part of the uh if like if we hold shift let's see left shift uh shift and in you can see a highly advanced block capable of transmitting any uh practical resource across long distances and dimensions. Um, so yeah, I think it can send items, I believe, uh, cross dimensional, it's like a inner chest sort of thing, but we're not gonna be really using it for that purpose at the moment. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make my ultimate controls. There we go. We are going to be using this for something very, very interesting. Let's grab this and boop. And this, in combination with the anchor upgrade, supposedly is going to allow me to chunk load. And what I do need to specifically chunk load is this area right here. Um, so I'm going to place this down. And then inside here is a slot for upgrades. And I can put this upgrade in this particular machine. I think there's a couple of machines you can put this in, but this is the one that one of the cheaper ones. And this should be chunk loaded now. Even with it not receiving power, it should be chunk loaded. Yeah, and I think this, yeah, if you have more than one of these, I think these are able to send things back and forth. I, I believe so. They're like a, uh, 
uh, man, what's the thing? I, I can't remember the... There used to be an Ender thing back in the day where you could you could pipe items and everything through it. Power. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. I've actually never used this thing before. So let's go ahead and test this before jumping into a vault. Of course, I could test it in a vault, but I do want to test here, and I also need to mine for a little bit of uh, Osmium. So let's take a look. Let's see. Is this going to stay filled? That is the question. And it is refilling. So I am using it. And you might be able to see the bar in my inventory and you see it go down, but then you'll see it go right back up again. So yes, it is working and that is awesome. So at this point, I think it's time to run some vaults. However, I do want to do something something that uh, is in here. You can see right here, the Grasshopper Ninja used Dash with a full set of green fairy armor. And of course, well, what's that green fairy armor? It's literally the armor Iskal's wearing over here. This is the green fairy armor. So let's throw this on real quick. And all we have to do is dash with it? Is that correct? Maybe not? Or do I have to use... I mean, I'm dashing, unless you have to dash in the vault with it. You know what? Does it say... Use dash with a full set of green armor? I bet you have to do it inside the vault, maybe. Or... I can go ahead and throw this armor back on here and utilize this full armor set. Maybe the one that's lingering over here. No? <laughs> maybe it has to be in the vaults. We can do this. Required in the Grasshopper Ninja. Yeah, maybe it's in the vaults. I'm going to bring it with me just for the fun right in the start. But... Uh, speaking of that, I do have my crystal ready to go. Let's go ahead and head back. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Soul flame, because I definitely need to put that on there every time. I'm running a random vault. I did go ahead and put all these. I went ahead and made some more crystals. By the way, if you want to see me make crystals, I hang out in the Discord and literally make these while I'm hanging out in Discord in voice chat and I'm streaming. So pretty awesome. Be sure to check it out. Discord.gg forward slash chosen architect. And uh, yeah, you can you can join too. I'm in literally right now making this video. Set it in public voice chat. You'd be surprised. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and, and and give Mo something to do. Bam with a random crystal. I did go ahead and put these crystals through the test, and I I'm not really getting a whole lot out of them. Like there's there wasn't anything that looked great. So I'm definitely going to continue to build up my catalyst fragments and go from there. Uh, so I think we have everything organized. Everything's ready to go. We just need to throw this away and we're ready to run our first vault of the day and hope for some great modifiers. And like I said, I'm going to keep this on. I'm going to do this right when we walk in. Let's go ahead and actually just keep it on. So that way, right when we walk in, we're good to go. And then we can just hurry up and swap it and put this in our bag. All right, let's do this. Crystal that's random. First of the day, and let's go. Let's go. Let's hope we get something, some good modifiers. All right, let's go ahead and dash. And it did not complete. So I'm going to take this off, throw this back on. And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you guys will let me know what exactly I have to do to be able to do this. Um, what do we get? Afterlife, we got easy and it's a scab vault. So easy in a scav vault. This is going to be just a nice, uh, nice calm run unless we get some kind of crazy room that has a lot of chests and stuff. I'm kind of excited. Let's hope we can find something good here. Ooh, we gained favor off of this. That is awesome. That is a plus one on our favor with Tenos. Finally, we've gotten a plus one after so many vaults. The The bonus, though, is I need to get plus two favor with Tenos, or, or sorry, plus four favor with Tenos to be able to uh, get all the perks. Like, it would be increased chest rarity and stuff like that, which would be amazing. That would really help out. Oh, I, th I think it's like permanent luck, too. Oh, man, it, there's so many like benefits to Tenos. I know Tenos is like definitely one of the harder ones to do and it's the only one I've been opening and I've been pretty successful at just opening 
Tenos related uh, chests, which are the experience ones. So, so far, so good. Let's hope I can keep it up. Oh, here's one of these nice rooms. Unfortunately, we are a sca uh, running a scavenger vault, so the chance of us getting vault diamonds from these, a little bit lower, I would say, but still definitely worth taking advantage of. Oh boy. When I said get lucky with rooms, yes, this right here. What? Here we go. Actually a pretty nice room though, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's not the greatest room in the world because there are better of course, but it is nice when you do run, in this, run into this room. Especially now that I can just break into chests so quickly. gonna make it up here perfect these are so satisfying oh just too satisfying honestly sometimes very nice I also want to get up here and see what this potentially has to offer oh it's just more chests very nice. Now this will be pretty nice. Look at this. We got another, we got a puzzle room. Uh, it requires two greens. We definitely have this. Two greens. Get all our colors in. Still trying to do this as fast as possible. Two greens, two blues, three blues actually. And two pinks, three pinks, no yellow. Very nice. Hopefully we can get a green from completing this. And yeah, very good. Look at all this loot. Oh, I just got a green from that one. Oh, and another green. Oh, come on, it's just giving them to me. It's free. Very nice. We actually got three green from that. You just, you can't make these up, can't beat it. And we also get a portal room. Get out of here. This is perfect. Oh, and we get an aquarium room. This is a great start to the day. I'm really enjoying this. Nice, we get a, a crystal room, which will give us a little bit of more from this run. Oh my gosh, as if this couldn't get any better. We have eight minutes to do this. Come on now. Yes, this has a dig site in it. No way. As if my luck could not get any better. This is awesome.
Oh boy, I almost have it. Almost had this whole area nice and been cleaned out. And I still have six minutes, which is like perfect time. All right, with that, that's basically it. There's like a couple of chests left, but. <laughs> Oh, man, I was not expecting a dig site right at the end. That's what I said. Like, even plain Jane rooms, they can still turn out to be great because, you know, you can get things like this. Like, actually, all the rooms we got was amazing in this uh, this vault. And just like that, I'm out of this vault. I think we got enough great loot. Oh, man, that was perfect. Now to check and see what awesome stuff we got from it. Now let's peer into what we got. So random drops, we end up getting two echo. Oh my goodness, that's great. Vault goodies, two vault diamonds. Yeah, they're hurting me there. But we got a bunch of mod boxes and two key pieces, which is fantastic, bunch of diamond as well. Uh, and trader statues, I know we got a bunch of those. 20 trader cores. And this is why I had to upgrade my statue room because we were just getting way more statues than normal. But that is fantastic, plus all this vault, vault gear, including tier 2 gear. And that's just our first run. So with all that fun out of the way, it's time to jump into another one. But real quick, real quick, let's check this. All right, we have enough shards. Let's pull something out and let's hope it's good. Oh, it's just a skill shard. <laughs> you can't win them all. You can't win them all. I want to throw that in here. All right, we're ready. Time to reset. Boom, we are ready. Let's jump in this vault and give it what we got. Actually, you know what? I'm going to revive all of my uh, my peeps, my Eternals, and then we're going to jump in the vault. And in we go. Oh, boy. Stonk, Frail, Faster, and Plentiful. All right, so this is one that I definitely need to watch my armor on and uh, hopefully uh, prevent mobs from attacking me because that Frail... That frail is not good. I don't like the 50% durability damage, especially on this gear. Like, I, this is really nice gear, but we could end up getting gear that is lesser on us as well due to losing it too quickly. Like, at the moment, I have this gear prepped up. I mean, it does have max durability stuff on it, but it's still frail. Ugh. I think we have, like, one more repair left on, like, a couple of pieces. Ah, huh, nice. Perfect chance for ores and our first obelisk, which uh, I, we may or may not fight the boss. I would love to fight the boss, but I don't know if we're going to have the ability to. Oh my gosh, we got a mine room and it's a plentiful and I get to test this out. Okay, I'm in excite mode. Okay, and we still have 16 minutes. Okay, I need to make sure none of this... Is this a regular or is this abandoned? Wait, 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 wait. I think it's abandoned. Oh no. Yeah, no, this is an abandoned mine room. This has the... Uh... Oh, bummer. This got me so excited. I was so excited. Yeah, the abandoned ones don't have anything in it, which is unfortunate. Oh man, that would have been so worth it. But I do get a tree room, so I can be happy about this because I love my tree rooms. Oh boy, gotta love them. There's, they're just, it's just free, free loot. You don't have to kind of, you don't have to worry about mobs. I mean, you just rush through this so fast. Like I have gotten really good at like pointing at chests to break them. It'll be really hard going back to any other mod pack. Like, just, uh, yeah, I, I played, I play Minecraft differently now. This game is, a, this has affected me <laughs> in weird ways. Oh man, I'm gonna look at chests and be like, I'm, I've got to snipe this. I've got to. <laughs> if I don't, I'm wasting my time. Oh goodness. Another tree room. Just my lucky day.
Hey, look, I, I found my second obelisk. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm fighting the boss on this one. Uh, there, there must be, they must be hidden on the corners. I've got another portal room. Very nice. Pop this in. And of course, get every everybody to spawn. Of course, I, I want everybody to spawn, right? <laughs> oh, goodness. Third obelisk with nine minutes left. We'll see how this goes. I mean, the third tree room and it has an obelisk. I mean, we might find the boss. I, I don't know. Hey, there we go. We might fight this guy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to, but all we gotta do is find one more obelisk and we can fight the boss. And I, I found it. And we get to clear this room out first. Ooh, I've never seen a room like this. What? That's interesting. This gilded chest can spawn inside here? Now that's kind of cool. And with a couple minutes left, let's go ahead and get rid of this bad boy. And this should be pretty simple. Got to remember to use that execute like right when it's pretty low and insta kill. Super, super quick. Gosh, you got to love that. And let's see what we got in our boss crate. Oh, we actually got a key piece. That's really nice. That's uh, push us pretty close. I, I actually, we do have enough, I'm pretty sure, to uh, do a treasure room. But what other goodies did we get? Statues, we got a good amount. Now, nowhere near that last run. That last run was beautiful. Uh, but man, we have enough burgers to definitely level up. Uh, and we got two vault diamonds. Man, oh man. But we are definitely building up on our catalyst, so we should be able to, to definitely make more catalysts. I'm just going to need to make more tables and uh, find somewhere to kind of arrange these. I'm thinking about having like eight of them. We have eight of them full. We're bound to get some good rolls, right? Bound to. Well, guys, with all of that running today in the vaults and all the fun that happened, look at that. We have 64 in there, 64 in here. Look at all this has been building up. Oh, we have so much stuff now for mechanism. This is so great. Like all of that building up, ah, I feel confident that within the next couple of episodes, things are gonna get really spicy, really, really quick. Especially with like uh, five times ore processing and all that good jazz. That is gonna be absolutely amazing. But of course, we're out of time. Of course, I gotta, I gotta give a, a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And uh, let's see, that is going to go to It'll be a big thanks going to Smile Chemist. Thank you so much for your amazing support over on the Discord. And of course, guys, if you're interested in joining the amazing supporter club, becoming a premium member over on the Discord, all you got to do is go to discord.gg forward slash chosen architect and join the amazing crew over there, of course. While you're at it, while you're checking that out, might as well check out the merch store. If you want to grab some awesome Chosen Architect swag, be sure to do that over at Chosen architect.store and guys of course i'll see your beautiful faces in the next episode and as always thanks for watching <laughs>